Deuteronomy 34.2 The eight Chol Naphtali, the eight Eretz Ethraim, Umanasha, the eight Chol Eretz Yehuda, Ad Hayam Ha'acharon. Now you can see that this continues the sentence from the previous verse, beginning as it does with the definite direct object marker. And all of Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, until the sea, the one which was after, that is, the Mediterranean Sea. I'd like to work with a pronunciation issue. This word kol appears twice. And one of the tricks early on is when you have a uh, kametz katon or a kametz is telling the difference between the two. And so in this case the dictionary form of the word kol comes with a holum. So it has that o sound. Now, in the case of this word kol, it's often connected, and here it's actually connected with a makaif to another word. And when you have this connection to another word, the two words together function as one word as far as reading out loud goes. And you'll notice that there's only one uh, accent for each of these words, and the accent falls later uh, in, the, in the second word towards the end of the word. And so then in each case, uh, when there's no accent, the holum is reduced to a comets katon. And so you know it's a comets katon when it is in a closed, unaccented syllable. And so the word kol, it, here it's closed, you have consonant, vowel, consonant, and it's unaccented because the accent has moved later in the word to the word to which it's connected. So the other trick you'll notice is because the word had a holum, O sound, it's going to reduce to a comets katon, an O sound here also. One last issue to consider, Hayam Ha'acharon, the sea which is behind, refers to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, in the ancient world, east is front. And so Jerusalem is the center of the universe in the Bible. And so from the perspective of Jerusalem facing east frontward, the Mediterranean Sea is behind that sort of orientation. So the sea which is behind refers to the Mediterranean Sea.